Hello, thanks for downloading the uh, Terry's Black and White Actions. Here's how to install it into Photoshop, enable it, and then use it. So I've got it downloaded to my desktop here. Uh, I go into a local disk in my computer, and to my program files, then to the Adobe folder. This is running Adobe Photoshop CS, so I open up that folder, and then the presets folder here. Now near the bottom you'll see Photoshop Actions. Open that up and there's all of my different actions. I'm going to drag this from my desktop and drop it into that folder. Now it's ready to be installed. Close that out and bring up Photoshop. Now under Actions, which is next to the History tab and most, you have this little tiny arrow right here that I'm clicking on. hope you can see that and you're going to go to load actions and then find the Terry's black and white actions. Double click it and now it will be in place ready to go. The one that you've got is called black and white pick six. It's going to create six images in black and white out of a color. So first let's go and load up an image. I've got one selected called liquid uh, from, li so from the liquid library and um, I'm going to run my action on this. So with this selected black and white pick six, I simply have this loaded in and hit go. It runs this and it's going to make a grayscale conversion. It desaturated from hue saturation control version. Um, it's going to find the green channel. It's going to do an RGB uh, channel mixer, a CMYK channel mixer and also the lightness channel from a LAB uh, mode of the image. And so it's pasting all of these into six different things that you can compare and pick out the ones that have the, um, the qualities that are closest to what you want so you can then mix. So there you go, as you see, it's created six. Now I'm going to go up here to Window, Arrange, and Tile. And look what it does. It sets them all so that they're nice, and I've got all six in one place. Now I'll select one and hold Control key down and hit your minus key a few times. I'm going to do that three times. In fact, I'll, I'm going to plus it one more time. Make that nice and big. Go again up here to Window, Arrange, and Match Zoom and Location. And all the rest will match in Zoom and Location. Okay, so now you've got your grayscale, your desaturated, your RGB channel mixer, your green channel, your lab lightness channel, and your CMYK channel mixer. All of these have subtle differences. Um, they also have been set up so that the channel mixers already have the channel mixer in place. So you can double click it, bring it up, and tweak it. Okay, the uh, others have um, their curves channel. The, uh, well, the curves um, adjustment layers are installed so that you can do that. Okay, so, so there you go. So there we have uh, several that you can compare and look at. Now you notice the very subtle differences. Now what I usually do is I select two that I want to work with and close the rest. Here we go. And then again, I go up to Window, Arrange, Tile. So then I have just the two. And you'll see how subtle the difference between the grayscale mode on the top is with the desaturated mode that use the hue saturation control. Very subtle difference, especially noticeable in the highlights in the face here, uh, where they're rather blown out looking in the regular grayscale conversion, but the desaturate uh, from hue saturation makes a much more pleasant uh, gradation that looks like it's a lot easier to work with. Anyway, that's the general idea. Once you've picked one, you then can go up here, pull up its curves, and, uh, and tweak for a week. So, I hope you enjoy playing around with this thing and that you, um, you get some use out of it. Okay, take care.